And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Atlanta Braves. Just about set to go. And on the mound in this one, Spencer Strider. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Ball to strike. And that one wrapped foul. Now remember, Kyle Schwarber grew up in Ohio, and so he got a chance to watch a lot of really good Cincinnati Reds teams. His favorite players growing up were Barry Larkin and Ken Griffey Jr. Got him swinging. Kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Trey Turner in the box now. No balls and a strike. Strike two. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The wind and the pitch. Got it by him for the K. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. And fouled off. And the 0-2. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. That one gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Here's Harper now. There's the strike. Oh, wow. Next offering is outside. Here's a 1-1. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. One left for Philadelphia. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. You're watching. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Acuna's signing bonus wasn't astronomical, only $100,000, but a lot of talent as far as the family. His dad, Ron, was a minor league outfielder, and his grandfather, Romo, was a pitcher in the Houston organization. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Hard hit, right side. Stott over to first in time. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Austin Riley. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Back at Truist Park, JT Real Muto steps in. The why to kick the pitch. And that's through there for a strike. JT Real Muto singing has turned into arguably the top catcher in all of baseball. He's won multiple gold gloves, multiple silver sluggers, same story, multiple times an all-star. This guy is fun to watch. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And Real Muto is out. 
Nick Castellanos in the box here lets that one go for a ball. It's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. One down. This is Bryson Stott. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The 0 1. Ball one. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Double play ball to second, to first, got him. Here's Christian Pache. In there and it's 0-1. Castellanos on its second with two down. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Runner leads away at second. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just gotta let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Bottom of the inning, so now to the plate for Atlanta. Matt Olson and a pitch. Smash to the left side. And quickly one away in the second. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Swings here and blasts one left field and caught on the warning track. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there, nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And a foul ball. Second inning here, no score. Had some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. To the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Play made, that ends the inning. New inning getting started. Here's a speed threat, Johan Rojas. Come backer to the mound. Boots it. So the batting order turns over. Now at the plate, Kyle Schwarber. His first at bat was a strikeout. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Rojas on at first, nobody out. Tried to check his swing, appeal to third. No, he held up. There's a 1 1. There's a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Finished him off by blowing it by him up high, but they did a really nice job of setting that pitch up. The plan of attack early on was to keep everything down around the knees, so that was a good call to change his eye level and run it by him for the K. Here's Turner now. He's 0 for 1. Turner had a really good college career at NC State. He went to the 2013 College World Series and led all of college baseball with 55 stolen bases that season. Pretty incredible. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. The 0-2. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And now it's Alec Bohm. One for one with a single so far. 
There's the strike of the knees. 0-1-1. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. The 1-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Philly strand one, still no score. As we go to the last of the third, here's Eddie Rosario. The wind of the pitch. Ripped on a line, and that one gets down, fair ball. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And here's a slow roller. Good feed. That's one. On to first double play. That was a tough double play to turn right there. So nicely done by the defense. And with it hit so softly, I wasn't sure they'd have time to get both outs. And sometimes rushing a play like that can lead to big problems. But they executed every step perfectly. 2021 was Wheeler's year. An all-star, as we mentioned. But he also led the National League in innings, in strikeouts, and as well in war. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Out number three. And welcome back. Start of the fourth, Bryce Harper to the plate. Well, Chris, what a career Bryce Harper has put together. On the cover of Sports Illustrated at the age of 16, first overall pick by the Nationals in 2010. He's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star appearances, and a Rookie of the Year to boot. Bryce Harper has turned out to be just as good as advertised. The 1-1. Foul ball there. Yeah, and has largely lived up to the hype. There hasn't been a more scrutinized ball player than Bryce Harper over the last 10 years. I mean, he's had a target on his back because of how well he did at a young age. But he's backed it up with a couple of MVPs and got his team to the World Series in 2022. And yeah, the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the first out in the top of the four. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure them out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Real Muto batting for the second time. And that's strike one. Pitch misses inside. And that's ball one. So now one and two. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Fouls it off, still one and two. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. He doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Castellanos, the next to hit, takes ball one. That misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And a 2-1 on the way. And that's down and away. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. That's in there. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. 
And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here in Atlanta, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Ronald Acuna Jr. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. So, Boog, you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh, Siggy, I dig it. The Braves base color is red and blue, but he adds the yellow. It kind of represents the Venezuelan flag, the country that he hails from. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. The pitch. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. The pitch. Swing and a grounder foul for space side. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Makes the grab one down. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. He's 0 for 1. That's a strike. 0 and 1. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Pitch out, but no action. Acuna, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to stop for one. And their second double play of the day will end the fourth. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. here at the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Bryson Strider back to work. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Acuna ranging back, back some more and brings it in at the wall. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around and made a nice catch. And that one fouled off. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. That one misses, one and it's a ball and a strike. Side. Ground ball, left side. And a couple of quick outs. Johan Rojas stands in for the Phillies. Hit in the air, right field. Acuna there. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Down quickly, go the Phillies. And we are still scoreless. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Matt Olson, he's one of those guys with light tower power from the left side. You know, reached 100 career home runs in less than 400 games played. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. They're going crazy in the dugout, and it gives them the lead in the fifth. It's 1-0.
He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna. Now he breaks his bat. The flip to the pitcher covering, one away. That ground ball may have him back on track okay. after the homer. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. High fly ball, right field. Castellanos gets under it. He's got it, and there's two away. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Eddie Rosario. And he's already singled in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Way out front for strike two. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Here's the 0-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. The other way. Knocks it down to the hole. Runner at first with two away. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. 0 for 1 so far. Out towards right center field. And it drops in. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Michael Harris grounded out his first time. That misses. Ball one. Rosario over at second. Arcia at first. Two out of the inning. Bounced up the middle. They get the force. And that is the third out of the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. This is the National League Division Series on the show. Back at Truist Park, all set for the top of the sixth. Here's a big power threat. Kyle Schwarber. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And a swing and a miss. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. 0-2 now. And that one is inside. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Swing and he breaks his bat. Riley. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Good late life on that inside fastball. Ran in on the hands and got that weak contact. Little slow grounder to get the out. Here's Trey Turner, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Chris, Trey Turner's turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. You think speed with Trey Turner, but a guy who impacts the game with his slug as well. Popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. 
Alec Bohm getting ready to hit. One for two. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Kicks and fires. Bows it back with two strikes. The one-two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So they make short work. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. That's hard hit in the line. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. He was all over that one. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Base stock center field. Acuna around third. Rojas fires it to the plate, and he's out. He comes up firing, and there was an anticipation and kind of an excitement when the ball went in his direction that he was going to have an opportunity to throw somebody out. And that's the attitude that aggressive and good outfielders have. Now here is Austin Riley over to stop for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Here's Matt Olson. He's already homered in this game. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Boom. Makes the grab, and the inning is over. And welcome back. Here's Bryce Harper. Strider back to work. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now it is JT Real Muto. First pitch, and he just misses. Good eye right there. The pitch. Off the mark there. And it's 3-0. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And a 3-0 finds his own. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Rosario calls it in two away. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Right through there for a strike. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. There's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. That clips the zone, and it's nothing in two. Next offering misses down and away. And that got the pitcher. Slings to first. And Castellanos is out. That ends the frame. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there and it stuck. That was pretty cool.
bottom of the seventh. And now the DH, Marcelo Zuna. The pitch. Here's a rocket out to left. Brings it in. And a quick out number one. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. On the ground to third. Boom. Throws on to first. Two up, two down. So. so digging in, Eddie Rosario. Swing and a ball popped up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Braves are set down one. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And he deals. Stop in the box now. Take strike one. And I know you want to be patient. as a hitter but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight and he got one right there but left the bat on his shoulder on the ground grabs it barehanded nicely done for the out that's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this position perfectly digging in Christian Pache first offering and it just misses it's getting squeezed a little bit here late Look at the stop. Throw to first. And that's a great play for the out. Great cat-like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy in the mound. Rojas. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. That's inside. One ball, one strike. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Lifted in the air, right center field. Under it is Acuna to make the grab, and that'll do it. Phillies down in order. New pitcher on here, Michael Lorenzen. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And a pitch. And foul ball. I'm really impressed with this offense. They haven't been timid at the plate at all. They've been aggressive, and they're keeping the defense on its toes. Five hits for them on the first pitch alone, so they're swinging and connecting right out of the gates. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. Bounce to the right. Harper. And he beats the throw. Shows off the wheels right there. An infield single. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. And a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Runner on the goal. Real mutual throws, not in time. It's a stolen base. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Ball to strike. The pitch. That one fouled off. Bounce to third. Tosses to first. And the Cunha retired. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Here's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a foul straight back.
Rudder at second, two down. Hit hard, should be extra bases. And here is Austin Riley. First oh. offering misses the mark. Out towards left center. Rojas under it. Drops into the glove. And that's the inning. Two left for Atlanta. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. And there's a ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And there's a foul ball. And the pitch. Just misses there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close. As it gets. Left hand batter waits. And just misses with that one. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. The tying run at the plate. And the tying run is on base. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. No outs. Runner at first. And the batter now, Trey Turner. And a sack bunt here. Olsen on the run. Sends it over to first. Out on the sack bunt. With a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Alec Bohm will hit next. One for three. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Owen oh, Tuzzi waves at that one. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks in. No big deal. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And now here is Harper trying to deliver as the hero. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That catches the zone for a strike. One and two.
Man on second, two down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second.